Welcome back to the Mini Pensgauer build series. This is part eight. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. I picked up a sheet of 20 gauge thin steel. We're actually gonna take it over to the CNC and start cutting out all the stuff for the front grill plates. Starting closing this thing a little bit more. This is where it's gonna really get the feel of the Pensgauer. Pretty excited about it. Also picked up a cool headlight bucket here. We got some headlights and some marker lights. Trying to go on a budget with this thing, but still keep with the aesthetics. Oh, and I also picked up a belt. So at the end of the video, hopefully we can try it out and see if it actually works on here. It's a 49 inch belt. Let's get building. All right, time to try this thing out, see how it fits. Oh man, that's gonna be cool. It's gonna really come together with the styling now. Pretty excited about that. All right, let's figure out what kind of braces we need to do and uh, start welding this thing up. So I finally picked up a little finger brake for doing lightweight sheet metal. One cool thing I'm pretty excited about was I built this nice little framework for it out of some pallet rack crossbars that I had kicking around. This little machine right here kind of goes hand in hand with working with sheet metal with the CNC machine. Pretty good setup. There we go. Nice finished part right here. I really like the way that turned out there. I'm gonna add this rock guard later. I really like the styling of these little rock screens. They always remind me of old 70s enduro motorcycles. But I don't like the way it originally mounted on the pivot point. I was gonna have to notch the grill more to get these to fit in there. So I'm gonna cut these wings off later and tack weld them to the bezel. Should work out just fine. One thing I wanna point out, this is all 20 gauge, really lightweight sheet metal. The reason I use 20 gauge is anything that's overhung out in front of the axles more is just gonna add more dead weight to this thing. I just wanna keep the front end as light as possible. So when I designed the headlight hangers, those were also 20 gauge. 
but they had a 90 degree bend and that bend adds a tremendous amount of strength and their tack weld to the back of the grill so it was a double feature it was actually going to support the light and support the grill more add a ton of structure up there all right onto the other headlight we'll get that mounted and then start working on the upper plate up here it's going to be awesome Now hold on guys, I know what some of you guys are going to start chiming in the comment section how these market lights look awful on here. Before you do that, just hold on. I'll put some original pictures over here of the Penns Gowers. Basically with the scale of this thing, these marker lights are about the closest I could find to the original Penns Gowers that I found. And um, keep in mind, this is all going to blend in nicely. There's going to be a makeshift grill here, not going to be really any cooling. Uh, it's just going to be for looks right up here. And there's going to be some 3 8 little bars that come out here and here like the original Pinsgowers for headlight protectors and the rock grading over the headlights as well. Bumper up front, when this all gets wrapped up, you're not gonna be focusing on these as much, especially when everything gets mudded up from cruising around on the trails. All right, on to the next part.
look at that. It's pretty nice. I'm stoked to have that done. Uh, it was one of those crucial pieces to roll because if these lines get off at all with the roller, it's going to look pretty wonky. And basically, I should have done my layout a little different. This is about a half inch too long, so I had to curl the metal around to actually get it to fit through the throat of the, the roller there. But it turned out really good. You know what? I think it's about time to bust out a drum brake. Like the way those turned out got both sides all welded up next we're going to move on to this front panel up here this just needs to be wrapped up before we can start on a bumper or anything like that so we're going to go over the cnc and cut those out we're also going to bead roll them to strengthen them a little bit and we'll actually help with the curve so it won't be so hard to bend them in place take care of that next Well, all right, pretty excited we got done. It's really taken the transformation to look more like a mini Pinsgauer. Yes, every video I get comments, that's not a mini Pinsgauer. It's actually a halflinger. I know the difference between styling wise and uh, I like the Pinsgauer. That's why I'm making a mini Pinsgauer. Back to this build. So the video is probably about 15 minutes long. Some of you guys might say that's not long enough. Keep in mind, this is two weekends worth of work. And it takes a lot to not only like ordering the right parts, getting the right metal and drawing up the programs and cutting stuff and figuring out how I'm gonna build all this. 
but also filming it, documenting all the shots. It takes so much longer to bring you guys along, but it's fun. I don't know. I just keep doing it. Another thing is uh, there's about, for this video has probably got 10 hours worth of editing at least to make this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below. If you guys want to support the channel at all, the comments are one of the best ways you can support it. It's getting harder for me to get back to everyone. I try to read most of them, all of the ones I can, but that takes hours worth of work too. But please leave a comment down below because YouTube doesn't promote my channel very well. And when you guys leave more comments, that actually helps tremendously on how my videos promote on YouTube. It shows that you guys are interacting, you like the content, and they'll branch it out to new people. Once in a while, I'll have some people mention that they just found my channel and they love it. They're going to binge watch a bunch of the videos. So anyways, you guys, thanks so much for sticking around, checking out the video. I was hoping to cruise into this video. I uh, didn't get to try out that belt that's going to have to come in the next. It's been dry all work week when I haven't been able to work on this thing. I get done with the whole work week, come home, get to work in my shop, and it's pouring down rain. There's even some parts of my roof that are leaking in here. So I know there's too much bare metal. I don't want to be cruising this thing around in the rain and have to clean it all up and have it rust. So maybe in the next video, we can get that belt on there, cruise it around. But in the next episode, I'd like to get these side panels on here, work on a bumper for sure, and either start framing out the part of the cab or I got some hinges just ordered, some weld on hinges. So it might be kind of cool to start working on some doors. All right, you guys, thanks so much for sticking around, checking the video. Until next time, take care. Bye.